Hey, what's up everyone? Today we'll be going over how to get infinite coins and trophies in Facebook Messenger's Everwing game. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using a tool called Cheat Engine, and this tool is going to allow us to edit the in-game memory of Everwing. So the first thing we're going to have to do is get the game's process ID. So this is actually kept track of in Chrome's task manager. So if you go up to the top bar over here, right click, you can click task manager, or you can hit shift escape. We're going to want to grab the process ID for everyone. So it's going to be in the, the messenger tab. And the process ID is 7144. So we're going to keep track of that number and we're going to look for a decimal to hex converter. And I'll put this link in the description as well. Convert. So we're looking for 1BE8. So what I mean by that is once you go up here to search for a process in G Engine, Chrome's going to have a whole bunch of uh, processes running and their process IDs are represented in hexadecimal. So we're going to look for 1BE8 open. Now you can see we're editing this uh, process within Chrome. All right, so it may seem like the first thing we want to do is change this coin value right here. Uh, but we're actually going to be changing the coin count value that's kept track of during the game. One, because uh, the game will crash if you try to edit this. And two, there's uh, some sort of cheap protection within the code to prevent you from also changing this. So we're going to do a first scan. So we put in the value field right here zero for a scan, because that's because uh, when you first begin a quest, you don't have any coins. So we'll, we'll collect some coins and then die. So you can see we have four coins. So we're going to type in four, next scan. And you can see it wasn't actually four, it was six. So we can hit undo scan. Yeah, we want to go back and then put six in instead, and then hit next scan. And then we can scan again for zero, since the coin value is gonna reset. Since we ended our quest, hit next scan. And we could probably do this one more time. Collect some coins and die. So now it's three. Should wait for it to update fully. All right, so it is three. Next scan. So you can see we have two values here. Um, you can edit both of these if you wanted to, but yeah, we're gonna wanna keep track of uh, this one right here because this one actually represents uh, our coin count. So go ahead and double click that or you can right click, add selected address, give it a name, coins. And uh, we can go ahead and change this right now. So let's just say 50,000, hit enter. So you can see within the game, we now have 50,000 plus our previous uh, coin count. There is a max number of coins you can get at once though, and that's around 56,000. So be careful. You don't want to set it anywhere over that. I mean, if you do, it won't give you the coins, but it will give you a really high, high score. So if you are going for a higher score, you could do that, but you won't get any coins. So now we're going to be doing the same thing for trophies, but this is uh, a lot more time consuming just because you don't get them as often. So let's go ahead and do a new scan. We're going to scan for zero. And uh, we have a lot, a lot of values to go through. So 21 million. So what I'm going to do is uh, just jump right to the mini boss because that's the only time you get trophies. So as you can see, we made it to the boss. Make sure we get the trophy. There we go. Got one trophy. And we're gonna do next scan. So it's probably easier just to die uh, right after you beat the first boss, especially if you're a lower level. It's also a lot quicker too. So you can see there's a bunch of values changing over here. So to narrow down the selection more, since we know we have exactly one trophy, we're going to do an unchanged value search. 
So anything that's not one will be, will be uh, cut off. So next scan, you see that dropped like 13,000. You can do this more and more. So that narrowed it down to like 2,000. So let's go ahead and do this a few more times and I'll cut back to the, the final iteration where I have it all narrowed down. So this should be my final iteration. It took me about three times of killing the first boss, dying, and uh, searching for the address. You can see we have it narrowed down to two. So we can go ahead and just die here. So it should just be one, and they're both one. Um, so we can actually keep both of these values if we really wanted to. And uh, just edit both of them. There could just be two references to trophies within the memory. So we may only need to change one. So before we go into the game, we're gonna change the values. You can actually do it during if you wanted to. But I think it's just easier to do it beforehand. Remember, you can't go higher than 56,000 for the coins. And for the trophies, you cannot go uh, any higher than 2,600. So we're just gonna set one of these values. Um, if one doesn't work, just try the other. So we're going to give the, this one a shot. We're just going to go uh, 2,500. And we're going to jump into a game. And then you, you can just instantly die as soon as you get in. Okay, so you can see that the 2,500 was applied to our trophies. And that's uh, exactly what we wanted to see. And now you can iterate this as many times as you want and you have an infinite supply of coins and trophies. Do with it what you will. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.